Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make the best air fryer lamb chops any Greek restaurant will be jealous of. I don't know if you eat lamb on a regular basis, but if you don't, you will love this recipe. I grew up with a mom that did not like lamb. She never cooked it, but as soon as I moved out, I told myself I'm gonna perfect this cut of meat. And we're going to make them super juicy with a sear and that it will have all the flavors of lemon, garlic, rosemary, everything you expect from uh, lamb chops in air fryer or anywhere else. So let's do it. We start by prepping ingredients. Let me show you how I do it. Here's how I peel garlic and it's the easiest way. Place garlic cloves on a cutting board and using a chef's knife, just press on it and smash each clove. Then the peel will come out super easily. Now take fresh rosemary and pull the sprigs in opposite directions from the stem. You can also use dried rosemary, no problem. Then give it a chop. I kind of like hold my hand on the top of chef's knife and this is super, super easy. Now we're going to take a bowl and add a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. That's my favorite oil to cook with lamb, but you can use any oil, grapeseed oil or avocado oil. Avocado oil would be great. Then you add your chopped rosemary into the bowl and grate garlic. This is my favorite way to grate garlic to get the most flavor using this microplane zester. I will link to it in the description. And now give it a stir. This is kind of like our marinade for our air fryer lamb chops. No salt, please note no salt or pepper. So I'm using these lamb loin chops from favorite Costco. They're not cheap. This is definitely a treat, but here we are. They have a bone in. You can also use those lamb chops with a long bone, like a lollipop, they're called. Now you add your lamb chops into the bowl and I like to mix everything with my hands. You can also use tongs. Make sure to coat all meat in this marinade cover with plastic and refrigerate for 30 minutes. That's all it needs. Why we don't add salt now is because it will start cooking lamb and we don't want that. You can refrigerate up to 24 hours again because there is no salt. Now you preheated your air fryer to 400 degrees and place your lamb chops in the basket. And this is when we're going to season it with salt and pepper. I like to use my Himalayan pink salt. It's a nice finishing salt. Now I am going to flip them right in the basket and season on the other side as well. By doing so in the basket, we are saving on dirtying another dish or plate. That's pretty much it. I do not remove the marinade from the meat. I like to cook with garlic and oil. All we have to do is air fry. And for how long depends on how you like your steak or lamb. I'm doing 400 degrees, 11 minutes, and I would say they come out kind of like medium, medium rare. And now everyone is asking me if I love my air fryer. I absolutely love it. I will link to it in the description. It is Kasori, the largest I could find. It fits a lot and it works like a charm. I do not have any complaints about it. And that's pretty much it. You don't have to flip your lamb chops in air fryer. It's a beauty. Garnish with sprigs of rosemary, extra lemon slices, and this is your perfect Easter dish or any celebratory dinner. I'm serving it with my healthy broccoli salad. That's another video. And they were really, really good. I hope you guys enjoy my air fryer lamb chops and happy Easter!